Hello, this is Resolent Bearcat, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. I release three new videos each week for this title. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified when they are released. And once again, we wake up with our alarm. Let's get started here today. Now, in the last episode, we ended the episode with an event that I still can't fully explain. It was uh, the sound was very faint in the in the actual gameplay when it when it occurred. Uh, but that would definitely was something that drew the attention of a lot of zombies. We went from having a mostly clear parking light to having zombies coming at us from every direction in a very short amount of time. Uh, we just had to, we just bailed out and ran. Uh, we're going back downtown today to see what we can do about clearing that area out and just how bad the situation is down there. But I wanted to, we're, we're going to take a good bit of food with us. Uh, I'm going to take two of these stews with me and I'm going to eat one right here. Um... As well, so we're, we're going to take a good bit of that. I want to try to keep my food levels up throughout the day. Uh, we're going to try to take our piano bitch as well. We're, we're, we're going to we're going to try our best to give ourselves the most advantage that we can. And we are going to grab a cabbage, a fresh cabbage here, and we're going to go check our traps. First thing we're going to do is to check our traps, and then we're going to head back downtown. So we'll be back in just a minute after we have checked our traps. All right, well, we're back and headed into town now. We checked on the traps. There was nothing in the traps. So uh, we didn't catch anything last night. That's okay. Well, let's get down here into this intersection. Oh, we want to slow down here. And when we head down the street, I don't know how far we're going to make it. There were zombies chasing us down the street. I'm imagining before we get very far, we're going to see them. And do. So what we're going to do... Oh, it looks like we may be getting some snow. Uh, about 40 degrees. A bit cold. Not too bad. Let's start clearing out zombies, see if we can make it back down to the apartment complex. Like I said, we we had this event, very faint. In the playthrough, I sped up the playthrough, increased the volume of the uh, sound event, see if I could figure out what happened. I was trying to understand what I was hearing. I believe I was hearing a car alarm, although uh, even played very loud, it sounded more like the tapping of a horn than a car alarm. I'm, I'm not real sure. Uh, that was really a sound that, other than a car horn, is the only, the closest thing I can actually tell hey, to what that sound was. And uh, But I will tell you one thing. It would definitely got some attention of a lot of zombies that were in that military apartment complex. So we'll work our way back down there, and we'll see just what the population's like down there. We will continue in our car since I don't see any more zombies for the moment. Hmm. Fortunately, when we went to run, we didn't have a problem with the car cranking. It cranked up very quickly, but um, 
we, once we get down to this next intersection, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a serious fight on our hands. Going the rest of the way. Yeah, there's a big group of zombies down that street. Let's park the car here and see if we can't get started. We have a wind chill advisory here. It's a bit slightly chilly. All right, we'll um, we'll try to pull these things back. Oh yeah, I got quite a few. I didn't even see somebody with a duffel bag. A few zombies down through here as you dive over the fence. All right. We will try to get our food levels up. I need to actually go ahead and eat more. We got a piano bench with us. We'll put that in the intersection so we can use it to rest. Maybe we should put it a little bit back here. Right. I hoping to hit two of them. Oh, yeah. Very good. I'll deal with looting later. We'll, we're not going to mess with that right now. Let's see if I want to put my piano bench out here in the I think I do. Put it right here. Back of the park. That way I've got a place to rest. We're going to rest pretty frequently today uh, because we want to. Oh, shoot. Okay, that'll get some attention. That's all right. We're pretty rested up. This will be just fine. We're full rested now. We need to kill zombies anyway, so that was not my plan. Oh boy, I'm panicking a little bit. We have to uh, take some beta blockers. We got hot very quick when we started swinging the screw bar frequently. Oops, swing this this time. I got back up. Okay, there we go. All back down the street. Kill a whole bunch of them. Let's go back up here and see what we have. Um, unpleasantly hot. I did not. Caught my eye. Just a tree, I guess. We will go back to our piano bench. And or when we get back to our piano bench, we'll try to get a little bit of rest. Let's get this guy over here while we're at it. People sneaking up behind me. We'll check this since we're not doing a whole lot. Here. Killing most of them on the other side of the street. Well, the yell didn't seem to be too bad. Let's rest. Put on the ground. Uh oh. Alright, we gotta stand up. Better run. Gotta go. Rest is over. is blowing pretty hard. I didn't get all of my rest this time. I am going to, I want to rest until I am fully rested. Go. Nope. There's more zombies coming. Didn't get fully rested again. But we are getting rest each time. It's going to extend our ability to fight effectively. Some kind of weapon there. I can make out what it is from this angle. Ooh, I see a katana. Oh, we're gonna be excited. Look at that. That's katana number four in March Ridge. Yeah, to be there. There we go. Look at that. Let's hope it's in good shape. There's some cigarettes. Let's go ahead and resupply the cigarettes. There's the katana, and yeah, it's only 50%. Well, doesn't matter. 
whatever it is, we're about to use it. <laughs> Let's well, gone. There's another big group down there. Hmm. Okay, that's very deliberate right there, yelling. Go draw them back down here to where we're at and through here. They are all coming. All right. Over here. I don't want y'all to have any doubt about where I'm at. Can you yelling at all of you until you get over here? All right, we'll kill Chewbacca. It did kind of look like a Chewbacca head on that character. Oh, yes, there we go. People coming from behind me a little bit here. Let's back up a little. There we go. Okay, we got lots coming now here. Let's back up a little bit. There's the first durability loss on this katana. Kind of came at a good time, though. This is a good spot for it. Let's see, we can actually move forward. Not many other weapons that you could actually take out a group like that. Every single one of those zombies was killed with one hit. Even though the durability on it's not great, we'll use it while it lasts and throw it away when it isn't. Oh, there's another zombie diving over the fence. Stay away from me. Chop a tree down. Okay. We've got another zombie over here. He appears to have some sort of weapon on him, too. Probably a bread knife. Come on. Do not walk away from me. Alright. Here we go. Look at all the zombies on the fence down here. This guy. Get down here on the sidewalk. That. Go. Just keep moving forward. Okay. With that in mind, that was a pretty good clear right there. Oh, look at them coming off the fence. They're just stuck up against the fence like you wouldn't believe. Hey. Yeah, I should be walking the fence now. Down here. Can't see anything right there, but there sure were a lot of them came out of that corner. Okay, let's see what we got right here. Got a few more. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. That should get somebody's attention. That is the goal right now, is to get attention. Draw them to me. As long as we've got this katana, we want to make good use of it and keep the killing going. There went again. Oh, and it broke. Crap. From back to back swings and we have somebody coming up behind us. Okay. With that in mind, we have to go back to our crowbar. And we'll throw the katana in our bag for now. It is, so we're not carrying the weight. While we're doing this, we're going to fall back a little bit, eat some stew. Hopefully get some more durability up. I realize I'm just walking, dragging it out. That's okay. We're, we're, we've got this in here, and we've got the bowl in our inventory. We're going to turn around and deal with the people that have followed us. I'm afraid. Ah, wish the katana had lasted longer. But it was useful. We made as good a use of it as we could. We didn't quite get lucky with the rolls. I guess you could say we got lucky to even get one. We'll take what we can get. That's good. Now we will stand our ground here as much as I can. It's just going to turn into a war zone. Only difference is, I think a war zone, the bodies would be a lot more haphazardly scattered rather than all in a big pile. Kind of looks like a lemming train, not a war zone. 
Okay, we have made it back up to here. Let's see if we can rest for a second. There we can. We'll pick him out of here. Try not to kill him in the street. A lot of that is to try to preserve the quality of our car, such as it is. Oh, oops, there's another one there. Okay. I zoomed in. I realized there was another one right on top of me. That's all right. Only one. Now it's raining. Temperature has went down to 35, but it's raining instead of snowing. Oh, well. Such is life. Let's see about smoking a cigarette. Can't do that and rest at the same time. Alright, we're fully rested. The advantage of the piano stool. This guy's gonna come right over here. Okay. He didn't even see us until we moved. Very unobservant zombie. Wearing a red watch. Go with him. I see more coming down through here. Okay. Like fighting near these trees that are here. away from these trees a little bit. Okay. Heading back down through here. Got another zombie here. Probably should check the other side of the fence. Oh! Boy, I missed that swing pretty bad. And there's one of the houses I want to... the one of the little sheds I want to check to see if we can find a generator. I found what we need... we are going to need to look for a generator. Okay, now then. There's Nimble. Nice. Level up Nimble. Okay. Let's see what level of Nimble that is. Got a pretty good sized group over there. I got no one around me, so I can afford to take a second here. That was Nimble level 3. That's going to help some. It will make my ability to back up faster. I need one more level of Nimble in order to be able to just move back and forth with you know, kind of back up and kill them. I can move backwards at the same pace that they chase me forward. But, um, hey, every little bit's going to help, so I'm going to take it. That's definitely faster. Let's see. There's some more down here. We're going to try to get all of these zombies down here that are between the two buildings. And then we'll move up on up toward the apartment complex. We're making fairly decent progress. I have to say, given how many zombies chased us out of that parking lot, I'm not disappointed with the progress we're making. This is not doing anything toward getting us toward our goal of getting to the gas station. Yes. But I'm going to... Actually, I beg to differ. It is. It's just not directly evident how it's getting us to the gas station. It is getting more zombies out of the way so that we can go to the gas station without killing everybody. Oh, just knock your hat off. Right? Definitely, I have to stop walking some now. Whereas before, I had to walk backward constantly not to have them overrun me. Oh, I've got some exertion. We're going to have to go back. Let's kill this one, and then we'll go back and rest on our piano bench. There, well, there's two down here. We'll kill both of these. There we go. Very good. All right, let's go get a rest right quick. That kind of clears out the... Zombies between the two buildings. I'm gonna check out that little shed right there. It'd be really nice if there was a generator in there. It'd be a bonus. We do have to find a generator, or we're gonna have to go back to the, uh, down to our base and get one. We also need to get that car out of the road. 
up running into it. If we can go rest for a minute on our bench, get rid of the exertion, and then go check out the shed just for something a little bit different to do today. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a generator. All right, Corey, take a look around, make sure there's nobody coming. Doing pretty good. We'll sit on the ground. It's time to pick up our piano bench and move it anyway when we get the next piece of this. We're going to wait until the uh, fatigue goes away completely before we make our next push. In the rain, the temperature has went back up to nearly 40 degrees and it is raining still. Weather's been a hit or miss day. Okay, there we go. We are fully rested. Let's go check out this building. This is one of the buildings we want to check out. Let's go break into it. See what we got to do to get into it and check it out. We cleared a bunch of the stuff that's back behind this. Let's see. Not through there. Well, there's a couple of zombies down there, but they're a ways away. Let's see. Let's see this. Okay, nothing back there. So let's see. Here we open the door. No one came out. Uh, no generator. Well, that's disappointing. A couple of cast cans, a car battery charger. Actually, a pretty good find. Metal sheets, we can we can use those. I'm not going to loot anything right now, just because I it's not one of this. I just wanted we were looking for a generator. We didn't find one. Okay, no generator. We will continue on with what we were doing. That was just a s short little. break from what we're doing. I see a couple of zombies down here. We are going to go get them and see if we can't entice them to come over here. There we go. I know you heard that. Come on. Over here as well. Go. Oh, I have to get another one. Can you come over here too? Or something. Not sure what it is I'm hearing. All right, we're gonna pick that up and get in our car and continue on. Oh no, there is the first drowsy noodle. Okay, we're gonna go down this way a little bit further. But we're about done for the day with the drowsy noodle. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't have any vitamins. I don't have any... I probably have some coffee, but I'm not going to waste it on a day like today. Oh, man. Okay. I said I was going to move that car. Let's see if we can't move that. Push that car out. Just about hit it. It is moving. Oh, is it? Oh, so... There we go. Now we're moving. One time car up. Shut this thing out. As much as I can. There we go. It is now out of my way. Just what we're looking for. Hey, we have made it back down to the apartment complex. Believe it or not, the parking lot doesn't look too bad. That's surprising. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of zombies over there. Got a zombie coming at me right here. Go kill this zombie. Oh yeah, this was uh, 
Only thing I can figure out is it was a car alarm. Like I said, it was a uh, sound that I haven't heard sounded most like a little a short tap on a car. So I'm going to assume it was a car alarm that got set off. Not really sure that the location and determination of where it was at was indeterminate. It had to be on the other side of the parking lot though. That's the only place there was any zombies that was anywhere near a car. But I'm going to assume that they set it off. map. We'll take that. I haven't been checking for loot. Antidepressant somewhere. I will we'll loot later. We just really wanted to try to get back up here into this parking lot. Ah, oh, that's a big group over there. I don't know if I want to take that big group with being tired and drowsy. Being drowsy, not necessarily tired. Tired hadn't progressed to being tired yet. I want to try to oh there's a hoodie. It'd be nice. It's in good condition. It is. But that might be good cold weather gear. Let's see. So all of this work we did clearing the parking lot has to be redone. And there is no way without a katana right now that I am going to do any yelling. I'm sure there should be killing things here. It's like a pretty bad idea all the way around. Did you come up through here at me? Let's see. I need to let both of you guys down. See if I can knock you down again. Oh, I had another zombie came up through here. Oh, lost more durability on the crowbar. Yeah, that came from this group. It was only one or two. Check around again. It's six o'clock. Let's see. We got a couple more coming at us. Trying not to draw the whole group. Mind drawing two or three at a time. I won't have an escape route out of here if I need it. So, come up through here. Oh, well, look at there. That. Yeah, very nice. Um, let's see. It's 620. We're headed back. We made it down here. We'll uh we will do more of these zombies later, but I'm going to avoid the that large group. I am um, probably not that far away. That probably going to get their attention. But we're just going to back out down the street a little bit. Let's oh, we'll run over a zombie. Really want to be doing that. We'll come back down through here. Now, I believe in the next episode, what we're going to do is try to make it to the gas station. Uh, the gas station down on the other end of town. We will go that, that way this time and try it. See if we can't do some clearing there. Uh, today's episode was pretty good success, and I have to say, having another katana uh, delivered to me, and we immediately used it, we, that, that actually worked out pretty well. Let's kill these three guys, just to clear up on the way back, so that we don't have, we're not dragging zombies toward our living quarters. Anybody that shows up over here needs to be, needs to go away. There's the tired noodle, so it's going to get worse from here. So we want to quit fighting. We don't want to be taking durability hits on our weapons because we're fighting in, under less than ideal conditions. Um, even though I had some food and ate some food, I didn't eat enough. I brought, I had one more stew I could have eaten. We'll eat it now. The calories for the stew that I was eating didn't go up that much, so I'm definitely going to need some calorie food. But we'll see what we can get. Maybe we can catch another rabbit or two and cook us up some more food. In the meantime, it was a good day. We made it back to the parking lot in a single day. Given how many zombies chased us out of that parking lot, I wasn't sure that was going to happen. No, we didn't get into the parking lot. we still got a ways to go. But um, overall, we'll take it and we'll call it a good day. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available, and check out the links shown here for more gameplay. Take care.